morning. This morning I'd like to demonstrate my homemade bandsaw sharpener. So let's quickly go over the parts. The motor, I took off a pump. It's a 3600 RPM motor. If I had it to do over again, I would buy a motor for a uh, chainsaw sharpener or probably just buy the whole sharpener and tear the motor off because they're pretty cheap. I bought the cam is actually I bought that from Timberwolf where I get my blades to match the blades that I have. It's all set up and ground and I think it's made by Cook. The uh, motor, I bought that off eBay. It's a DC motor, 90 volts, 1760 RPM and I think it's a 100 to 1 gear ratio. And of course I had to buy a uh, controller for that motor. The basics of this is there's a uh, self-holding relay back here in the box so that when you turn it on you can see it's time to push the, the uh, bandsaw blade through as the motor goes up and down to sharpen it and when it's all the way around a magnet is on the and just shuts it off. It drops out the self-holding relay. So that's about it. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we're ready to go. There is a couple of adjustments. This knob adjusts how far down into the cut the stone is going to go. This knob over here adjusts the feed into the stone so you can get either the front or the back edge. They advertise these that you can do the whole profile at once. I have not found that that works very good. I can get it once in a while, but when these things come from the factory, these blades, they are not ground as precision as you think. It takes a few grinds before you can actually hit the whole profile. Maybe other people's blades are better. So we'll turn on the drive. I say, we'll turn on the drive. There it goes. Now let's, uh, we'll hold this up a little bit. Turn on the motor. Uh, for demonstration, I'll just go ahead and put the uh, magnets on. See, as soon as the magnets hit, it shuts off. Normally, you would put these magnets right after, but that's going to be a long time getting around. So let's go ahead and start it again. You can adjust the speed. That's a pretty good speed right there. So right now we're doing the front of the profile and after this gets through I'll set it up to do the back of the profile. I don't want to take much off. It probably should be a little deeper going into the gullet because you need to hold that relationship of the depth of the gullet to the top of the tooth. So when I come around for the next one I may take some gullet out. And that's it. Homemade bandsaw sharpener. Thanks for watching.